Hi friends, it's Tyra. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the Curls Queen Eye Tip Hair Extensions. So this is the box that they sent me the hair in and they sent quite a lot of goodies so that I can get this hairstyle done. They sent, as you can see, a few clips, a comb with a rat tail comb, which is good. Making sure your partings are straight, all the beads that I would need to apply the hair these are a little um velcro to keep the hair strands out of the way and also the tool to tighten up the beads and also the bead stringer and that's going to allow me to apply the beads to the hair as you can see they sent a nice detangling brush I actually love this brush i use it on myself and i can like scrape my scalp as i'm brushing and then a nice bonnet that has the drawstring on it so it doesn't fall while you're sleeping. And then last and definitely not least, well, they sent the instructions on how to care for the hair, but um, the actual hair. So the hair that they did send me was uh, three bundles. There's a hundred pieces in each bundle. And this texture is like a blow dry texture. So it feels nice and soft even though it does have texture to it and it's not um, like a silky texture um, I do like that it is darker than um, most hair that you get because normally I have to if my clients hair is dark I have to uh, color the hair as well to match but this one was just right so I was happy about not having to do that step. So as you can see here, um, this is my friend's daughter. It's her birthday, so I decided to make her my model so that she can look super, super cute for her birthday. She's already a beautiful girl, but she wanted extensions. So I go ahead and used her as a model. So um, my friend knows how to... Uh, care for her hair so she did bring her with her hair washed and blow dried already so what I'm doing is just going through I'm using my babyless flat iron I'm going through and straightening her hair so that I can um, go ahead and install the eye tips So as I showed you earlier, this is the what looks like a blow dry texture um, hair. So I am using about 125 pieces in her hair. So as I showed you as well, I straightened her hair first just so that I can make sure that I grab the proper amount of hair that I need. When installing these, what you want to do is make sure that you have about the same amount of hair uh, that you're fishing through the beads that is on the eye tip. So basically the density in both have to match so that you can make sure that the hair, natural hair can support the eye tip hair. And you wanna make sure you get as straight uh, parting as possible. As you see here, I did use a little bit of hairspray just to get the flyaways out of the way. Because another important thing that you want to make sure is that you're not pulling hair through the bead that is going to get stuck or that is going to over direct. Meaning that when you move the eye tip around, you might have little pieces of, of hair that uh, will get ripped out if it's not comfortably in the bead. So you can see here I'm showing you that you want to make sure that it's about the same density um, so that it can support it. So then uh, with this bead fish, I already put the beads on it. Um, I, should, I guess I should have shown that, but you want to uh, put the beads on the bead fisher and then you just open it up, pull the hair through, push a bead up. And when you push the bead up, what that does is allow the hair to slide through the bead. 
and then you um, see here I'm just making sure there's no crosshairs stuck anywhere that might affect um, her hair like we don't want it to rip out any strands um, and we also don't want it to hurt her in, in, in any way so right here I kind of um, I made a mistake in um, press the bead too low because you want to make sure that um, you when you put the bead in you don't want the bead to be too close up to the scalp you want to kind of bring it down a little bit so that it, the bead can move around without hurting your client so I made sure that it was in the proper spot and then I clipped it I mean I tightened the bead and that's what's holding on to the hair so yeah I mean it's a, a lot of it is practice makes perfect you just want to make sure that you're um, doing all the proper steps making sure there's no hair making sure that you can move the bead around without hurting the client and that as it's as it grows out that it's not going to rip your client's hair out because this although it's not a protective hairstyle um, you can grow your hair while wearing these if they're done correctly and done safely and maintenance safely as well so um, when installing you just want to make sure that it's done properly so that you can grow your hair and make sure that your hair remains healthy and you're not ripping your hair out in the process So this is what it looks like when I am done placing all the beads, like I said, all well, the eye tips. Like I said, I added about 125 individual pieces and I just took it up to the top of her head so she's able to cover them with the hair on the top of her head. I also left all the perimeter out so she'll be able to put it up in a ponytail. Now I did cut slight layers into it, but um, I should have cut a little bit more so when she comes to see me to get it washed I will cut a little bit more layering um, depending on how it's looking she will wear it straight most of the time um, but because it's her birthday I am putting in a few curls just to give it some body um, and yeah that is the the process it is um, time consuming it does take quite a bit to get it done however when it's done it looks nice and it lasts for about eight weeks before you have to put them back up depending on how fast the hair grows and um, you can just open them and reset them if you want me to do a video on that I will and I can but then after that you would have to completely take them out and uh, redo them because you don't want to keep applying uh, the pressure on the same exact points so you want to take them out um, and it's best to let the hair rest a little bit and then um, put them back in so yeah guys I'm just as you see I'm just using my babyless iron just to um, put some curls into it
all right guys so this is the final look as you can see her hair is curled the eye tips are in she has um a bang in the front and as you can see she can put them up and you won't be able to see the beads anywhere it is completely flat she can um put it up into a pony a ponytail a high ponytail a low ponytail um in the future when we redo them i will be leaving a section in the middle out so that she can do half up half down and um the beads will not be showing so yeah guys let me know what you think um of this hair let me know what you think of the process as usual, thank you so much for watching. Um, leave any comments or questions down below and I will get back to them. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in my next video.